Bonjour. Et enchanté. And welcome to my first study abroad vlog. My name is Micah. My name is Jenny. And today's topic is study, study abroad, abroad bucket, bucket list. list. So we will be flying from LAX to Paris. And up first, we have destinations and attractions for Nantes, France, which is where we will be staying. So the first item on the bucket list is Chateau des Ducs de Bretagne. And this chateau is an elegant Gothic fortress dating back to the 15th century, and there are also free tours of the ramparts. Um, bucket list item number one to check off is to take a selfie with a sculpture of Anne de Bretagne, the most famous Duchess of Brittany, who became Queen of France by marriage. Next up, we have bucket list item number two, which is Nantes Cathedral. Construction of the Saint-Pierre et Saint-Paul Cathedral began in the 15th century, and it took up to four centuries to complete this massive cathedral. Um, we are going to take a selfie with the tomb of Francois II, eh, the last Duke of Brittany. Bucket list item number three is Place Collard, Galin Bonlieu. Um, this is a semi-pedestrian area that offers beautiful architecture, good shopping, and pleasant outdoor terraces for coffee or a glass of wine. Um, our checklist item is to explore this district by wandering with no particular direction and taking any opportunity for a photo shoot. Next up, we have bucket list item number four, which is Cour Cam... Why did you tell me? Cour Cambron. 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 Then we have bucket list item number four, which is Cour Cambron. To get away from the hustle and bustle of the city, we are going to take advantage of this beautiful promenade garden uh, for checklist item number four to organize a sunset picnic with other IES study abroad students. For bucket list item number six, we have Memorial de l'Abolition de l'Escalavage. In the 18th century, Nantes was unfortunately the first slave port in France, so we're going to take a little privilege check and learn about our history's historical impact with response to slavery. For bucket list item number seven, we have the Musée Jules Verne. This museum explores Jules Verne's life and main works through some personal objects um, and videos related to his famous novels. Um, for this bucket list item, we are going to read a Jules Verne poem with the statue of a lonely dreaming boy sitting on a bench, which is supposed to be Jules Verne when he was a kid, for our professor of poetry, Madame Montfort. For bucket list item number eight, we have Les Machines de Lille. We can't forget this attraction, which was listed as one of the best things to do while in France. Uh, this is an artistic projection straight out of a Jules Verne imagination. Um, for this checklist item, we are going to ride around the island on the back of a crazy elephant and visit the Galerie des Machines. And we definitely cannot forget to take a selfie while on the elephant. Bucket list item number 10 is L'Ile aux Moines. L'Ile aux Moines is one of the largest islands in the Gulf of Morbihan. Um, our bucket list item here is to have a Breton delicacy in Le Bourg and try a typical Breton meal of a galette and cider with a crepe for dessert. Next up, we have local and French experiences to have checked off. For bucket list item number 10 is become a regular at a boulangerie. For this bucket list item, we will eat a croissant or a pain au chocolat from a, a new go to boulangerie for the duration of study abroad. This is like a weekly thing to become a regular at a boulangerie. Bucket list item number 12 is try local sweets and delicacies. Um, some local sweets include rigolette, petit beurre, berlignon, et gâteau nantaise. And some delicacies of Nantes include curé nantais, which is a cheese, et moscadet, which is a white wine, et chalon de duc, which is a type of duck meal, and Nantes lamb lettuce, which is a special green from the region. For bucket list item number 12 is become a wine connoisseur. One of the courses that are offered typically for this program is a wine and gastronomy course, which we unfortunately got waitlisted <laughs> for, but hopefully are able to get that course in order to fulfill this bucket list item. And with that, that concludes our study abroad experience. Our program end date is December 18th. Um, after that, we may do a little bit of traveling around Europe depending on COVID, but um, hopefully we will have been able to complete all of our bucket list items. Au revoir. Et à bientôt.
Maar ik daar toch altijd... Chocolate on top, man. Look at that.